And now, please welcome your home team. San Jose is lined up for the kickoff. Bailey back to return. The kickoff goes through the end zone for a touchback. First and ten. Ball on the five-yard line. Hines makes the reception. Gain of six on the play. Second and four. Ball on the 11 yard line. Come on, come on. Incomplete pass. Bailey, the intended receiver, on the play. Third and four. Ball on the 11 yard line. Oh, no. What are you doing? I've got it. Yeah, hey, go. you watch what's going on. Okay. Look, they turned it over. Yeah. You need to pay attention. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Now go put some points on the board. I'm go. Out of here. Yeah. First and ten. Ball on the 12 yard line. Push the line. Take the The extra point attempt is good. San Jose is lined up for the kickoff. Bailey back deep to return. Kickoff return 17 yards. Bailey on the return. They'll start the drive at the 17 yard line. First and 10. First and ten. Ball on the ten yard line. Avery on the run. Five yard gain on the play. Second and six. Ball on the six yard line. Incomplete pass. Hines, the intended receiver, on the play. Third and six. Ball on the six yard line.
fourth and three. Ball on the three yard line. Kickoff return eight yards. Hold on the return. San Jose will start the drive at the nine yard line. First and ten. The pass falls incomplete. Rowe, the intended receiver, on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the nine yard line. It's going. I'll take that. <laughs> that was too easy, son. I'll get you next turn. Third and six. Ball on the 13 yard line. The extra point attempt is good. San Jose is lined up for the kickoff. Bailey back to return. Kickoff returned eight yards. Bailey on the return. First and ten. Ball on the eight yard line. The pass falls incomplete. Bailey, the intended receiver, on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the eight yard line. The extra point attempt is good. At the end of the first quarter, the score is San Jose, 14, the whole team, 13.
Kickoff return 18 yards. Cole on the return. San Jose will start the drive at the 19-yard line. First and 10. First and goal. Ball on the five yard line. San Jose is lined up for the kickoff. Bailey back deep to return. Kickoff return 33 yards. Bailey on the return. First and 10. Ball on the 16 yard line. Avery on the carry, gain of eight on the play. Second and three, ball on the nine yard line. Move it, move it, block it. Avery with the carry, gain of two on the play. Third and inches. Ball on the six yard line. Go, go. Incomplete pass. Row on the cover. Fourth and inches. Ball on the six yard line. Avery on the run, three yard gain on the play. First and goal, ball on the three yard line.
Kickoff return of six yards. Cole on the return. First and ten. Ball on the seven yard line. San Jose is lined up for the kickoff. Bailey back to return. Timeout called by the offense. First and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. Balls a timeout. Second and three. Ball on the 22 yard line. Kickoff return 18 yards. Colton on the return. 
They'll take over at the 18-yard line. First and 10. San Jose will start the drive at the 12-yard line. First and 10. San Jose is lined up for the kickoff. Bailey back deep to return. Kickoff return 11 yards. Bailey on the return. First and 10. All on the 12 yard line. Incomplete pass, Hines, the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10, all on the 12 yard line. He's going! The pass falls incomplete. Bailey, the intended receiver on the play. Third and 10. Ball on the 12 yard line. Take the line. 
the extra point attempt is good. The kickoff goes through the end zone for a touchback. First and ten. Ball on the five-yard line. Second and ten. Ball on the five-yard line. Third and two, all on the 13-yard line. Lower the ball carrier, three-yard loss on the play. Come on, man, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Come on, man. Get out of my face. Come on, Fourth and four. Ball on the 11 yard line. The extra point attempt is good. San Jose is lined up for the kickoff. Bailey back deep to return. Kickoff return 12 yards. Bailey on the return. They'll start the drive at the 13-yard line. First and 10. The extra point attempt is good. At the end of the third quarter, the score is the home team. 41, San Jose, 38.
kickoff return 10 yards. Coleman on the return. San Jose will start the drive at the 11 yard line. First and 10. Incomplete pass. Throw the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 11 yard line. The extra point attempt is good. The kickoff goes through the end zone for a touchback. First and ten. Ball on the five-yard line. This one has my name on it. Too easy, y'all. Way too easy. She's talking to First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. First and run. No more sacks, dude. We'll take the QB. Do we gonna get up next time? Uh, Yo, buddy. Uh, you okay? You see me? Uh, Come on. Second and 14. Ball on the 21 yard line. Ball, ball. Make some room. Pack it up. Damn, they did this bad, Chris. You're too even having to go to the bathroom after that. 
third and 14. Ball on the 21 yard line. Rowe makes the reception. One yard loss on the play. and 14. Ball on the 21-yard line. Plug it up. Plug it up. Rose makes the catch. 25-yard gain on the play. First and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. Rowe on the run, three-yard gain on the play. Second and goal, ball on the one-yard line. The extra point attempt is good. San Jose is lined up for the kickoff. Bailey back to return. The defense calls a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Avery on the run, no gain on the play. Second and ten, ball on the 16-yard line. Timeout called by the defense. Third and four, ball on the 22-yard line. Kickoff return, 13 yards. Colin on the return. They'll start.
start the drive at the 14-yard line. First and 10. Monster Hit is brought to you by Champ Sports, where sport lives. Welcome to the AFL, the All Fun League. On behalf of all the owners, players, coaches, and staff in the arena football family, I want to thank you for your support. You know, the goal of the AFL is to be the most fan-friendly league in all the world. And that's why this is your team, and the AFL is your league. In recognition of your support, all of our players and cheerleaders would like to express their appreciation to you by signing autographs after the game on the field. For more information, you can log on to arenafootball.com. And thanks so much for being the greatest fans in all the world. This demolition brought to you by proud sponsor of the AFL and your stop for all things football. Champ Sports, where sport lives. We're going to go over a few things that make arena football a fast-paced and exciting game. Let's start by talking about the arena you're playing in. The AFL field is 50 yards long and surrounded by dasher boards on all four sides. The dasher boards are considered inbounds. A ball carrier in contact with the boards is still considered in. There are four hash marks on the field. The ball will always be spotted on the closest hash mark to where the ball was considered down. If down in the center, the ball is spotted on the left or the right, depending upon the throwing arm of the quarterback. The end zones are backed by the tall, bold side rebound nets. A ball rebounding off the net from a kick or a pass is considered a live ball and open for reception by either team. The uprights in the AFL are narrow. A field goal can be kicked from any point on the field. There is no putting in the AFL. However, any kick that falls short of the upright or the net can be returned. Now let's talk about the players and the positions. An AFL team has eight players on the field that play Iron Man style. They play both offense and defense. Strict substitution rules are also implemented in the spirit of Iron Man football. A specialist can only be substituted once per half, and two-way players can only be substituted once per quarter. Any player that has been substituted is considered dead and cannot come back to play until his time is up. You'll notice the movement when the ball is snapped. 
That's okay. In the AFL, one of the wide receivers may be in motion as long as he isn't offside. The linebackers' movements, on the other hand, are very limited. Their movement is restricted by containing them in the defensive box, an area on the field between the two outside linemen and five yards behind the line of scrimmage. This emphasizes the passing side of the AFL, creating a faster, higher scoring game. There are two linebackers in the AFL, the Jack and the Mac. They must line up on the right or the left based on the tight end and the offensive formation. Only the Mac linebacker can rush the quarterback on a blitz and play without first being released from the box. And he can only rush on either side of the center, never around the end. Otherwise, a linebacker can only leave the box under certain circumstances, a run, or if the quarterback leaves the pocket. Also, a linebacker can leave the box if the tight end or the fullback goes into a passing route. The lineman also has some restrictions. Nose guard must line up helmet to helmet with the center and use man-to-man -man techniques. No stunting or twisting is allowed. There are a few other regulations that affect the game. The quick pace game of the AFL has a 25 second clock and a game clock that never stops during play until the last minute when the final minute rules come into effect. An AFL game is designed to keep things moving forward even during a kick return. If you fail to attempt a kick return, you will be penalized. One last thing, there are no ties in the Arena Football League. All games go to overtime where both teams get a chance at possession. If the game is tied in OT after both teams have had a possession, then the game goes to sudden death. Got all that? Good. Watch the tutorial again for a refresher if you need it. See you on the field. This punishment brought to you by proud sponsor of the AFL and your stop for all things football. Champ Sports, where sport lives. Welcome to Offense 101. We're going to equip you with the basic tools you'll need to be successful as an offensive player. After getting into formation, snapping the ball is an easy two-step process. Start the ball with the first press of the snap button. This will start the receiver in motion if it's part of the play. The second press of the snap button will actually snap the ball. All receivers will run their routes from where they are at the moment of the snap. So make sure you don't take the height too soon. If you take too long, the center will snap the ball automatically before the motion receiver crosses the line of scrimmage. There are a couple of options if you choose to call an audible. Initiate the call with the audible button and pick from any of the preset plays. Or initiate the hot route function with the hot route call button. Here, designate the appropriate receiver with his icon and call his preset route with the route controls. As always, you can cancel with the audible cancel button here. If you want to see the formation revealing only the receiver's icons, use the Coach Cam button. To see the play as it's called, use the Coach Cam play button. The primary receiver's route will be displayed in orange, and the secondary receivers are yellow. Any motion that takes place in the pre-snap will be shown in blue. Your player is designated with the player icon beneath him. After the snap, use the controls to move your player around the field. As the QB, you need to know how to throw to your receivers. Use the control that matches the receiver's icon to throw to that chosen receiver. To fake pump, tap the fake pump button. To throw the ball away, use this button. And to scramble, press the QB scramble button here. If you want to control the intended receiver, press the switch player button here when the ball is in the air. To try for the reception, use the catch button here when the ball is in the air. While running, you can run faster by pressing the turbo button anytime. Hold the hurdle button to hurdle over a player. Tap the same button to die for extra yardage. Tap or hold the juke spin button and have your player attempt an evasive move like a juke or a spin. Press the stiff arm button here and your rushing player will attempt a stiff arm on the closest defender to prevent attack. Sometimes you just have to bear down and cover the ball. This control will have you put both hands over the ball and protect from a fumble when things get hairy. Get right in the action of the quick pace, fast, intensive game of arena football by being the receiver before the catch. 
using the offensive switch player button here, cycle through the receivers and the QB, then snap the ball as you normally would. Now it's up to you in the field. Break from the playbook and just try to get open. When you're ready, have the quarterback throw to you. He'll lead you, so don't deviate if you're on the run. Or have him throw to another receiver if the coverage is all over you. The kicking controls are different, so listen up. When the arrow comes up, you can use the aiming controls to point the direction you'd like the ball to go. Accept the direction by hitting the accept button here. When the kick meter is displayed, move the controls back for power and quickly push them forward for accuracy. If you move the controls too far to the left or the right, you run the risk of flubbing your kick. So be careful. Here are a few tips to speed up your game and save some time. To have the team rush into a formation after a play, quickly press the hurry up button after the play is called. There's an easy way to call a timeout. During the gameplay, you don't have to go to the pause menus. You can call a timeout any